What's up everyone, this is Steve, aka Captain Horf. It's actually quite late right now, and I have to be up ridiculously early tomorrow. But, before I do that, I'm gonna play a game of Brogue. See how we do. Okay, in the room I start in, we got a potion. So I'm just gonna kinda zip through these early floors, killing rats, and that's a cobbled, I'm gonna kill him. Or, maybe he won't even notice me, and I can just walk past- Oh, he noticed me. I think I hit him unawares. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of zip through this level, collect all the stuff there is to collect, and uh, probably not have a ton of commentary, so we want to get down to the more interesting floors. So, zipping through here, zipping through here, we'll kill this guy in his sleep. Um, hopefully get this guy while he's sleeping. Nope, this one woke up, but luckily he's a cobbled. Alright, first floor, we got... Turquoise potion, three white potions, blue potion, and one scroll. And we're gonna dive. I don't really have anything interesting yet, so I'm gonna hold off on identifying stuff by drinking it and reading it. And oh, I better do some searching because that floor is illusionary. No, that's not what I meant to do. Son of a bitch. Sometimes you hit the S button, you mean to hit the the X button, and you mean to hit the S button. Alright, so that was interesting. Okay, and since I went through that, I actually can get something. Uh, Staff of Poison is pretty good. Um, I'm, deba I'm tempted to take the key and check the other room, but I'm going to take that Staff of Poison. It's never a bad find. Uh, certain enemies you can kite pretty well with it, and... I like using it on jellies, for example, and toads and other things that I don't want to have to fight. Alright, more potions, more scrolls. How the hell do you get to that scroll? There's got to be a way to kill that rat. I'm going to search for secret doors around here. There we go. One thing about Brogue is if you see something, there is a way to get to it. Always, always, always. The random dungeon generator is programmed in such a way that if there's a problem or an item or somewhere you want to go, there is a way to get there. So we're going to dive to level 3 now. Um, take it a little bit slower. Jackal. Now that I have the Staff of Poison, I might do some identifying after this floor is cleared. At. Another scroll, because we're starting to get a decent collection of scrolls and potions. What is that? Eleven javelins? Uh, I'm not too good at throwing those yet, but those might come in handy later. Alright, so we're going to find... Really what we need is water. I don't know if this is water or just a fancy type of gas. Uh, I actually don't want to do any identification in this room because if we get an immolation scroll... Does this game have immolation scrolls? I play too many roguelikes. But anyway, if something blows up in my face, there's something that catches fire. And if it does in a room full of gas, it's going to bring the hurt. Alright, so I'm going to use one of these scrolls. Uh, basically, I'm going to start identifying stuff. That's a scroll of identify. I can use that to identify one of the potions. We'll do the pink potion. Actually, let's do the one we have the biggest stack of. Um, no, we're going to do the orange potion. Don't know the best. Okay, so that's a potion of life. That's great. That means I can actually save it to heal myself when I need to. Potions of life heal you and also give you more health. They're sort of a replacement for experience points in this game since there are no experience points or levels. So I'm hoping these L's are scrolls of enchantment. They are. I'm going to dump them into my staff of poison. Uh, probably all three. Um, I'm just going to dump two for now. Five is pretty good for the early levels. And I never know what else I might find. Okay. I might as well do some of these potions too. So N. Yeah, that's poison gas. That's not very nice. That's okay though. So that was a potion of poison. Oh god, here's a jelly. 
poison that jelly. I'm going to try to dance around the jelly a bit. I don't want to fight it head on. The jelly is not hitting me. I'm going to hit it with poison again. And I'm just going to kite it for a while. Yikes. Um, abilities. Yeah, he's already separated, so I'm just going to kill it now. Should be able to take it. Yeah, it was injured. So, that toad... I actually want to poison that toad, too. I do not want it to hit me. Oh, come on. I... Poison. And the monkey went in front. That's nice. Oh, the monkey stole my staff of poison. What a dick. Alright, take my staff of poison back. Kill the toad. He did not hit me. So I'm not hallucinating. There's another jelly. Jeez. There's a bloat. This is an annoying floor. I'm just going to try to get away from this stuff before it sees me. I'm in the dark right now, so I'm going to let this jelly do its thing while I'm sitting in the darkness. And he went the way I want to go. I'm still in the dark. Please walk past me. Cool. Good use of stealth. I don't do enough of that in this game. And since you don't get experience, there's really no benefit in killing them if you can just avoid them. Get the gold. Get the potions. Get the scrolls. I don't know of any other roguelike where you don't have levels. I think that's a very cool touch. So I think we're done with this floor. We are. Um, what do we have? We still have a bunch of unidentified stuff, but I don't want to go through that jelly again. I'm just going to dive. We're on floor five. Some goblins. Uh, difficulty is going to start ramping up. I see a goblin idol in there, or whatever it's called. I want to identify more stuff now. A mauve potion. It's a potion of levitation. I might take advantage of that to float over this lake. Aquamarine potions. Potion of speed. Pink potion. Potion of invisibility. And... I'm levitated, hasted, and invisible. I might as well use that to my advantage. I want to try to get to this goblin conjurer and kill him before he becomes a pest. I did. They can really be pests. Kill the monkey. And... Oh my god, it's a room full of stuff. And luckily, nothing in there saw me. I am not invisible anymore. I might get some buffs before I deal with that room. Um, or I can maybe dispatch that goblin while he's dancing outside of the, the prayer room. Um, that's not a good venture into flame, no. But I don't want to stay here in the scalding steam either. This is not a great situation right now. I'm hoping something burns out soon before I get steamed to death. So There is something. Okay. Oh, so now that apparently that fire got everyone's attention, but they can't reach me. Since they can't reach me, I'm going to poison this guy. Enjoy that. die, kill the cobbled, I can take this on in a more orderly fashion, I really don't want to mess with that pit bloat, I don't like being thrown down a level, I don't know if you can poison arrow turrets, um, I think I'm just gonna smack this thing down, oh god it's hurting the hell out of me, I got that potion of life, I underestimated that, I forgot how much those hurt, Anyway, it's dead now. And I am alive. Let's get that totem. 
I think it shoots lightning at me. Yeah, but not that fast. Okay. Let's finish exploring. Pit bloat. Alright, I'm just going to dart the pit bloat. Um, I'm going to try to poison it and then run away from it. Ah! Oh, look, my, just my look. Hey, don't you dare try to run off of my stuff, monkey. Um, I got these goblins' attention. I can kite them down here with a to without the totem. I hope. I am really hurt. Um, I do have two rations. I'm going to eat one. That goblin just doesn't want to play ball. Maybe if I hit it once, he'll follow. Yeah, I'm in a world of pain. I'm kind of scared to deal with this totem, but I think I can take it. Okay. A spear. I hate having to rest, but I might have to rest a little bit. So. Let's rest just a little bit. Oh, here comes a monkey. No, you don't, monkey. Oh my god, it spawns so many monkeys. Oh, that monkey took off with one of my things. I am so pissed. I am going to poison this monkey and poison this monkey and my poison is lethal to these stupid monkeys. Is that the monkey that took my thing? I'm gonna poison that monkey as well. I'm just basically on a monkey side mission at this point. I'm very angry with these monkeys. Alright, dead monkeys. I did get my items back. And we're gonna dive. <sighs> I've gotten some good use out of the Staff of Poison. I think I might just uh, enchant it again. Uh, I need to ident I need to go back up actually. I need to identify potions of strength. I've got good gear waiting for me if I can just get one more strength. So let's drink more potions. A blue potion. No good. Potion of hallucination. A white potion. Detect magic. I have three potions of detect magic. Beautiful. Uh, that chainmail's cursed. And then turquoise potion. That's a potion of strength, so quaff the other one. We're going to equip. What can we equip? The spear, we can equip. I'm going to drop this cursed chainmail. It's not worth it. So now we're wearing a spear, which is great. And that's an acid mound. I remember what that is. Acid mounds, I definitely don't want to melee. So I'm going to have to pop a bl blood wart. Pick up all this stuff. That's gold, potion, a scroll. One of my favorite visual effects in the game. Oh god, that acid mound is right up on me. Uh, I'm just going to hit it with a staff of poison. And he weakened my leather with his corrosion ability. Sucks. But not much I can do about it now. Okay, it's dead. Staff of Poison. Mm, I'm hoping that's not actually an ogre. That was a bloat. That was a bloat. Now I'm going to wait out this bloat gas and this poison, or the hallucination at the same time. Because it's not, this is a dangerous situation. Hallucinating in this game, it's so important to know what you're fighting, it's always dangerous. And I just have to assume that that's a dangerous creature. So I need to pop a poison on it. Oh god. 
It's dead. Whatever it was, it's dead. Uh, hallucination is almost worn off. I'm just gonna wait it out. Okay. Actual vampire bats. Vampire bats are no fun unless you have good gear. And then they're cake. Kill the toad before it hits me. Huh. Don't want to go back to hallucinating. Oh, this arrow trap. I have a spear this time, so... Oh god, there's an acid. It's gonna hit me. Oh, it missed. It's gonna get another chance to hit me. And it's gonna die of poison. Cool. <sighs> Might as well see if we can poison these. Educational. Oh, I don't have a line of sight on it. Guess not. All right, let's just kill it. With a with a real weapon like a spear, you can be a little more confident. I really don't want to fight that vampire bat, but it saw me. Oh god, he's got a friend. I definitely don't want to fight them both at once. So vampire bats heal as they hurt you. So really, you have to have good DPS to deal with them. I'm gonna pop them with poison and try to kill it. Oh god, it's a flock of vampire bats. This might be the run, but I'm going to poison... Oh, I'm out of charges on my staff. I'm in a bad situation here. What do I got that can get me away? I can't really use levitation to get away because they fly. They're bats. Uh, could use a potion of speed and try to run, but they will just run, kite you forever. Um, yeah, this is probably game. I should at least try to get away. Maybe if I pop a potion... Uh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Pop my potion of speed. Pop poisonous gas. No, don't drink it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll try to get... Oh, even my potion of speed, they're as fast as me. Alright, I'm going to throw... Ah, damn it. I'm going to throw poisonous gas at the vampire bat. I, did I just see three more? Oh my god, this level is just full of vampire bats. Uh, Alright, my staff recovered a charge. I don't know why that bat's flying all weird, but... I'm gonna hope I can kill it before it kills me. I did. I'm in a bad situation right now still, though. So I need to play it very carefully. I'm low on health. If that other bat sees me, the bat sees me. Try to poison it. Out of charges. I'm going to enchant my Staff of Poison to give it more charges. I'm going to use the Staff of Poison on the bat. Let the Staff tick as many times as possible. And now try to kill it. Okay. Precarious. I'm considering just diving. Oh god, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Y'all can't see. Jackals everywhere. And remember, my, my armor is compromised. It got hit by that acid. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I just got overwhelmed too fast there. I didn't really find anything that great. That Staff of Poison did help a lot but not enough to save me. So that's another unimpressive run. I made it to level 6. Um, hopefully I'll do better in the future. Uh, I'm not the greatest Brogue player, but I have made it consistently deeper than this, so hopefully I'll get to show some of that off soon. Anyway, it's been fun. Have a good evening. I have to get to bed and wake up, excuse me, and wake up terribly early tomorrow, so I'm tempted to make another video, but I won't. Have a good night.